guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry that you're so far in to my face. It's just because today we are testing out the Patricia Bright Rich in Colour Eyeshadow Palette from Revolution. Um, so, you know, I thought I'd get you a bit further in towards my face. I feel sorry for you, I do, I promise. So, let me just pop it open. There we go. And if you watch my What I Got For Christmas video, this is one of the things that I got. So, as usual, when we do testing videos, I'm going to swatch each row for you and then we're gonna give it a go. So we're gonna see what kind of eye look I can do with, with this. I haven't put any lipstick on for the moment because I wanna choose a lipstick like for what I've done on my eyes, if you get what I mean. So yeah, let's get into the swatches. I'll just give you a close up of the palette. Super cute, I love them so much. Um, it's cruelty free and vegan as well, which is really good. So yeah, let's get into the swatches. So starting from the white shimmery colour on the end, so we've got Shimmering, Love Song, Queen, Mod Hell, oh Mod Hell as she says, um, Honey Pot which is the yellow, All Spice and Pillow Talk which is the lovely ready pink on the end. So that's the top row. So row two we have Heligant on the end. We then have the pressed glitter, which is just incredible, which is called Wow, and it's literally named Wow. We've got Reckless, Green Juice, Fruit Punch, Vitamin C, and that amazing blue on the end is called Ocean Deep. This is just the most beautiful palette, honestly. I really need the uh, Rich in Life palette as well now. Three, we have this Pink's Poppin', Taste the Rainbow, Birthday Cake, Rich Rich, flames which is the amazing again press glitter and no boo so i'm sorry my hand is extremely glittery it's from the pressed glitter way out from the last one but look at that red glitter oh my god i can't wait to use this so i think now my hand's going to be covered even more in glitter when i try and get this one off and then the bottom line we have missed call no exit wifey trendsetter dessert Miss Tropicana and Backstage. So there they are. I really love Miss Tropicana, the really bright orange shade and Backstage, which is the blue. And Wife is lovely as well. They're all just so nice. I can't wait to use them. So guys, how amazing were them swatches? I'm sad now that they're not all perfect anymore, but you know, this is gonna get used so much. So I'm really looking forward to using it. Okay, so now let's do the eye look with it. So I've got my little pot of brushes next to me, completely full. So, you know, I think I've got a bit of an issue. So the first thing I'm gonna dip into, the first shade I'm gonna dip, dip into is Heligant, which is this one here. Just on a big brush, I'm just gonna pop that all over the lid to like give you a base. Cause I do put concealer on my eyelids. Uh, I'm not actually too sure why I do that. I just do. So I'm just gonna pop this on, like so. It just gives the um, the eyes just and the, sh the shadow just something to stick to when it's more um, smooth and there's no, like, it can't stick to bits of the skin, if you know what I mean. Fingers crossed anyway, we'll try and make it so it doesn't do that. So, I'm just trying to decide what to do. Don't know whether to go green or blue or do a pinky purple. So if I go green, I can use the turquoise and the yellows. If I do blue, oh, I love the blue. Okay, I've decided I'm going green. So I'm going to take my crease brush and I'm going to dip into this shade green juice here. So I'll just pop it on here. There are some like quite neutral shades as well, which is good. So you can use this for like everyday makeup as well if you wanted to. But obviously, as it's a very colourful palette, I'm obviously going to do something colourful. So I'm just going to put this into the crease here. Just blend it into the crease. Really, you should use a clean brush. But because I've only got one of these, um, I've not had a chance to clean it since I last used it. 
but it's not transferring any of my other eyeshadow that I used onto my lid so wow look at that tiny bit of fallout but it's okay I can um, wipe that off I really like green and pink and um, green and blue together and blue and orange together I like the garish looks but I'm going to try and stick to something that actually goes together in this one because after this I'm going to see my um, auntie and my two little baby cousins well one of them's five now James is five and Lindsay's one so um, I've not seen them since before Christmas so I'm going to go and see what they've got they got for Christmas the little cute pies because I loved them I actually really like this colour and it's very pigmented. It very much is rich in colour. Next, I'm going to go with my defining crease brush, of course, from Real Techniques. And I'm going to dip into Rich Rich, which is this colour here. So I'll just dip into this. Lovely colour. And I'm going to pop that properly into the crease with this brush. Maybe this isn't the right brush to use. I'll get my other crease brush. So I've got a bit of a bigger crease brush here. So I'm going to use this instead in the crease. That's better. And that's just going like, oh, look at that fallout. It should be all right though. Um, I'm just using this to go properly into the middle of the crease and then I'm going to use another colour just to deepen it on the end. Do you like my blue highlight by the way? Another Revolution product. Revolution Jeffree Star, my two main makeup brands. So yeah you do get quite a lot of fallout with this um, but it doesn't really bother me because like I did before I just wiped it away and it and it left <laughs> it left the chat so so it's all good I'll just do one eye and then I'll do the other one off camera okay so now just to deepen the corner a little bit here I'm going to dip into Nobu which is this lovely dark blue shade I think this is more of a pressed pigment than a shadow I think don't quote me I'm just going to dab it on the outside corner there. So you're not getting rid of all of the lovely um, rich, rich colour. But you're, deep, you're just deepening the outer corner with a proper blue. It looks a bit silly at the moment, but it won't once I've got my um, eyeliner and lashes and everything on. So I'm just going to take the um, brush that I used, Rich Rich in again, just grab a tiny bit more and blend those two together. Okay, so now we're going to go to the lid colour. So I think I'm going to use the Shimmer Honey Pot here, this um, yellow, and I'm just going to use my finger. I always find that shimmers and pressed glitters are easier to use if they're on your finger. That's just me though. And I'm just going to pop that onto the lid. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try a bit of vitamin C on my finger first. I think I've got a bit of dry skin on my... Okay, so obviously it's all going to be blended. So that's vitamin C and then I'm going to go back to honey pot, dip my finger in it, it's more like a cream this honey pot, it's weird, very creamy, come on, try and get a bit of that shimmer, hmm, 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 let me try it with a brush, okay so I've got my flat brush and I'm just going to spritz a little bit of setting spray, on it just to wet the brush and um, because it might work better with a wet brush rather than fingers or 
anything like that. So again, I'm going back into Honey Pot. That's better. Okay, so you definitely need a wet brush to use Honey Pot. It's a very strange texture. Okay, so as you can see now, I need to go. It's all about blending and um, re-blending and re-blending and re-blending. So I'm going to go back in with Rich Rich, the lovely turquoise teal colour. So blend that in again. Like so, and then go back in with the dark blue, the um, no boo, no boo. Just to deepen the outer corner. Um, so I'm just gonna brush the fallout away again. Got a bit in the corner of my eye there. I think it looks pretty cute. I think it looks pretty cute. Um, and I'm gonna go under my eye. Just let me get my under eye brush. So I'm just gonna go under the eye with Trend Setter, which is this green here, just to tie. I always have to put some under my eye. So I've got a, um, it's like, what's it called? The smudge brush here. And I always use this to go under my eye and then another one to, to smoke it out. So I'm just gonna go under the eye with this. I feel a bit like a cocktail. <laughs> okay, there we have the first finished eye look. So I'm just gonna go off camera and do the other, pop my liner and my lashes on and I'll come back to give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I've zoomed you back out a little bit now because I know you don't wanna just keep seeing my face up close. So as you can see, I've got my liner, I've done my other eye, I've got my false eyelashes on, and I've just gone for a nude lipstick because I thought the eyes do all the talking. So um, I thought I'd draw all the attention to my eyes and not to my lips. So overall, just an amazing, amazing palette. And um, like I keep saying in like every video, Patricia Bright is just my favorite, one of my favorite YouTubers in the world. Um, she did bring out like a shade of like contour, blush and highlight um, and stuff like that but obviously I wanted to go for the palette because as you can see behind me this is full of palettes, this is full of palettes, I've got my Jeffree Star palettes there, I'm just a palette queen um, and I've also got a lot of um, loose eyeshadows as well so like single eyeshadows, um, yeah I'm a palette queen so this is going to fit right in with my other palettes. Um, it has got a lot of shades in it that aren't in other shades. This one, this um, honey pot's a little bit strange. It's really, really weird consistency. It's like a cream. I think no exit at the bottom is possibly the same because as you can see, you can squish that in as well. So to use these two, you need to wet your brush um, before you use them or wet your finger. But overall, I think the look I've done is really, really nice. I would highly, highly recommend buying this palette if you want to go for something colourful. Her Rich in Life palette is more neutrally, um, but I'm going to get it anyway because, <laughs> um, yeah, support the YouTubers that you really enjoy. Um, I will leave a link below to where you are able to buy this. It's available at Superdrug and at on Beauty Bay. Um, it might be available in some other places as well, I'm not too sure, um, but I will link Beauty Bay down below because Beauty Bay is the best place to get your beauty items from. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Have you tried the new Patricia Bright collection? Let me know if you have. Leave a comment down below and subscribe if you are new and you'd like to see more and I will see you in my next video.